Hey YouTuber, today I'm going to unbox my first GoPro. Um, I'm buying GoPro 8 in the bundle, so it comes in a box like this. And this is an extra SD card, 128 gig, which I purchased separately. Uh, the bundle includes 64 gigs uh, of SD card, but I don't want to waste time doing my vlog because I'm doing a heavy vlog. I very paired up with all those here all my camera i mean all my videos in youtube is in bad quality so i decided to invest some on video video graphic equipment so again this is my first unbox of the gopro by the way i purchased this in malaysia the gopro itself cost 1599 is basically 1600 but i buy in the bundle it costs 1800 yeah, so let's open this plastic up. I just want to see how, what is the things inside. This plastic is pretty heavy duty. Smoke the plastic. This side. Go to this side. And this one you have to be careful. Again, guys, I never use GoPro before or any video equipment. All I do is I just use phone. And in one, two, three, tada! And this is it, guys. It's include a GoPro case, a Go case. Pretty durable. Um, I don't know what this one called because I'm new to GoPro equipment. What is this? Oh, it's a screen protector for the GoPro 8. And then is the extra housing, waterproof, a waterproof housing. The GoPro 8 is supposing it to be waterproof, but maybe this one in extra for it to go deeper. Let me read some. Doesn't say how long, I mean, how deep it can dive. Oh, it's up to 45 meter. Uh, a GoPro head mount, uh, compatible dual charger, and then uh, this is GoPro chest chest mount, a GoPro original lanyard, a GoPro three-way stick. Yeah, it's a three-way stick, and then the GoPro. Hero 8 itself. Let me open this guy. Oh, by the way, this one is the 64 gig Lexar 663. It's a high speed uh, SD card because you can't use low speed SD card with GoPro 8. They have compatible one, but this one, Lexar actually is not recommended by GoPro. But they work very good. A lot of viewers use GoPro. A lot of YouTubers, I see they review this one. It works very well with GoPro and it's cheap compared to the GoPro recommended sandis okay guys i forget about this guy this is the separate purchase of 128 gigs lexa memory let's see what's inside some receipt it costs um 69 something 70 dollar maybe around your area it costs um maybe 5 uh, 20, 12 12 dollar around 12 dollar like that so this one is 128 gig 663 and it is a lifetime warranty but i believe if you in germany it's just very for 10 years warranty it's not because of lexus it's because of the country policy so don't blame them so hopefully we're able to plug this one up together with this gopro here i have the 164 64 gig as well and then we'll see after this It's pretty a type. They very have a they have a good work packaging. Ah, need to open the wall things up. I'll just go for one move, guys. Just for just my advice. I also need to GoPro, but a lot of viewers say if you unbox GoPro, make sure you don't hurt the box 
because it's for retail price maybe you want to resell planning in the future but for me i'll buy and then i don't i won't resell it because anyway this is the first time i buy gopro gopro come out since 2006 and now it's 2020 and i bought one so here's it guys look 12 megapixel 4k 4k 60 guys there's a 60 frame per second at 4k resolution very high at times slow mo hyper smooth time wrap and full hd live streaming it's also uh, doing some photo functioning here light burst super photo hdr and raw photo it's included and also support voice command this one i don't want to review you can read at gopro website but here's the box it looks from outside okay okay so now it's time for the opening of this gopro 8 so remember guys this box means trading value but i just i would not sell it definitely i'm keeping all my gadgets it's just that i will do i would open it the right way so this is the the straight that you need to pull and there we go after that you open this and this and this and we pull out and the gopro will just slide out and that's it guys the gopro 8 black so as you can see there's a picture in the monitor in the viewfinder but it's not a picture it's just a sticker all right it's just a sticker so this one this one is glued so you can't remove unless you want to remove to make it stand but i prefer to put the gopro inside the box back again so this is the latch that you need to push out push out this one and then oh i should do this actually i should remove the screw first A very long screw thumb screw the screw is out and then you can remove the gopro this is the metal foldable the portable metal metal stand metal mount sorry so it's actually pretty solid despite its size it's pretty solid it's made of metal and it's magnetic as you can hear it sorry i'm out of the display so again this one is magnetic and then okay so this is the gopro itself i'm going to put it on the cushion or something so it doesn't work so okay i just gotta put it here and we see what's in the box okay So here we have the GoPro Cloud. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think they are promoting the Cloud stuff, which you can store your photo and video. Is free. Okay. So maybe I register this one. This one is interesting, by the way. I'm not sure. I've not tried it yet. And then this question for GoPro support. And then this one, a quick start and how to release the GoPro things. Okay. So there's an app we need to download, which I will download now. What it says, oh, it's Google Play, GoPro app. Okay. So let's see. I'm in the app menu. Okay. And let's type GoPro app. GoPro apps, yeah. So this is the one. It's 92 Mac. It's a quite big app, but okay. So we are downloading now. Okay, meanwhile, the GoPro app is downloading. We see what more in the box because these guys just slide out when I first pull out the GoPro box. So, okay. So, in the box, we have two GoPro stickers. GoPro user manual, which maybe I don't read either. It's a very thick manual. They're locked to write. And one USB-C. This one is not compatible with your normal old type of USB, mini USB. So you remember it's a USB-C. 
uh, plat mount. I think it's a curb. It's a curb mount GoPro. A curb mount GoPro. Maybe you may need to mount it on your helmet or whatever. And one original GoPro battery. I don't think this one is enough. I might purchase another one because maybe I'm on heavy vlogging and stuff. These guys look very similar, like the old one, as what the YouTubers say. But GoPro said the old one is work, but it have certain restriction on the function, which the new one support, and the old one is not. Okay, so let's go deeper on the camera. So this is the GoPro itself, pretty ba pretty basic. The screen is in uh, the. This is the lens, which is non-detachable. It's not detachable lens, non-detachable -detach lens. Means uh, someone would make third-party case to mount extra filter or other accessories that might go into this camera. At the back is I think another an, a two-inch screen. I it possibly is two-inch screen. A touch screen here is the on on off button the microphone GoPro said they have three microphone one is here below the this uh, portable leg and then the other one is where is the one I'm not sure that oh the third the third one is in the front in front of the sensor so here's the indicator screen this guy comes with a screen protector which I purchased in a bundle it's a Chinese made screen protector Kingma I will install very short but I'm not going to do a video on it because I'm not really that pro okay so here's a GoPro 8 black in comparison to a Sony action cam they're almost similar in size it's just that the GoPro is thick and then I think the Sony is more heavier than this one I think because of it's have a battery this GoPro is empty I think if the GoPro comes with a battery installed it's more heavier all right so let's open the battery case and see so I'm going to open the the Lexar 128 gig also in this video so I will open this one also so of course this one you have to tear there's no way you, you can do there's no other way other than that you have to tear and this is it okay so we're going to install in the GoPro this is the door opening guys for that the, the person that see this video I know this previously because I watched GoPro 8 review so I know how the door it's open so other than that I'm pretty basically new to this stuff you see by the way this screen is easily to get fingerprints so you have to careful when doing that just pull this latch out that's it when you say it's the red indicator means it's not locked so you can pull this tab this tab can go completely off if you want but for this time being I'll just see make it attached like this so this is the 128 um, I'm not sure if my camera can focus. This is 128 Lexar 663. You must install the memory card first, then the then the the battery itself. Remember guys, the golden pin is passing down. The golden pin is passing down. All right? So once the memory in, just click it. And it's locked like that just like that and then the battery so here's the battery the battery the blue one is passing down the GoPro logo is toward like this so the GoPro make sure the GoPro logo is aligned onto that screen and then you just can slide in okay something's a bit stuck here but don't know what okay there you go it's in and we can close this door 
it's a bit tight for the first time and then there you go so remember this is a screen it's a sticker it's a protection sticker so I might just open it Wait to open it it's need a bit pry out surprisingly this is very tight the Chinese doing a good job nowadays in factory process so finally I managed to open this one and I stick it here so let's turn it on for the first time remember man that is very bright now oh when it's booting up there's a GoPro icon on the screen it's come with the me oh it was this is a pre startup remember guys this is unboxing because this is first time I opened it from the box so select English I'm not sure if it can focus on that one yep so select English no I'm not franchise I don't read franchise franchise France sorry so legal stuff agree GPS on yes okay um, so there's a GoPro app so which I will see how's it going on the app now oh now it's installing hold on I'm going to pair it so now the GoPro app has been installed on my phone so find your GoPro enable app permission yes enable all all right so okay I don't know what happened now oh permission I need to set the permission okay uh, yep all I just just yes to all for the time being I hit I had to read the terms and agreement just so everything I just agreed to everything and back now that that's why data is easily to being compromised by someone right so okay back so hello all right please turn on Bluetooth to find your camera okay or oh, means this GoPro also support Bluetooth in that case searching camera all right okay no camera pound okay let me see what is happening here let me continue on the GoPro skip setup so now it found my gopro so actually you can name your gopro let me just name ikmal pro here nothing much special around here so far All right that's about it save new name saving camera oh now it's changing camera name let's go okay fine I agree uh, just a few GoPro ads got it okay so let's see my camera control your GoPro it's a bit the, the app takes a bit time in order to do things I'm not sure is that or maybe there's a firmware update after this that I need to see all right oh yeah see GoPro is all update so yes update camera yes update so the latest firmware is version 1 1.60 all right so let's do the update so finally guys uh, the firmware, firm, sorry, the firmware for this GoPro has been updated. Uh, I shoot few of videos which I, which is in slow, uh, which is in time lapse, and the other video is for my YouTube uh, media, media juice, which is a entertainment channel. I found this GoPro is very very 
the image is very very much striking and different from phone video because phone video the frame rate is not good and it's not like smooth like GoPro another thing is the the one I mean the stability of the video for example this if I shake is very very head very very bad uh, bad video because it make you dizzy so GoPro is one of the camera which I found very useful in every situation for example for me is to review uh, to do my YouTube channel and then um, for me to shoot video on a travel because think about this guy if you buy a DSLR DSLR is not rugged enough for you to dive and swim because it's need a lot of a lot of pack and lenses to fit in order to do such a job where GoPro uh, not uh, no need anything to do such a shot okay for the example if you use DSLR you may need a lens a pack water pack which is GoPro no need and the video is very very much high quality I shoot in 4k and the video is super super good I think it's like a TV production or something live TV a professional studio mate okay Lenny sedia nanti kita nantikan So I first of all I not I, I I almost not believe the the actually the footage was shot by myself using a GoPro okay so it able to shoot 4K 60 I always use the linear mode cause it's very much a neutral for me other than the super view which is a bit have the fish eye lenses which is good if you're doing live video which more, most people want to see the the area scenes and everything okay so that's all for me guys for this gopro i think if you are doing a youtube vlog a small youtube production travel this is better option rather than the, the, the dslr because this pretty much do all the job you need so this is the first time i use gopro hero hero 8 i mean gopro product so this is the hero 8 black so I'm still a new learner. If you guys um, uh, watch my Go GoPro review for a professional, uh, for a reference on GoPro shooting, please note because I'm a noob in this photography. This is just the first review that I made for camera and video applications. So hopefully guys, you subscribe to my channel and keep supporting me guys. Till then, see you on the next video.